Okay. Yeah, we are live. Awesome. Let's see who joins here. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, whether you're joining this live stream now, welcome. Uh, or if you're watching the live stream after it's been published, I've got some pretty fun stuff to open. I've got six items from four different companies. Got my boxes over here. No, three different companies, four different boxes, six items. Yep, that's that's what we have. Last week, I uh, opened a few other boxes, including the Puma Velocity Nitro 3, which has been a, a great, fun shoe to run in. I also opened last week the Topo Magnify 5, a new um, updated version of their road shoe, said to compete against the Ultra Torin uh, series. I'm excited to put some miles in that. Of course, full review after 50 miles on all of the gear, well, at least the shoes. Got uh, also from Bob and Brad, the Q2 Mini. So I'll be sharing some thoughts, review on that as well. So welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, let's see here. This will just be kind of a, a raw live stream. Um, I don't have any fancy software yet, so um, bear with me as we go through that, but just a kind of a live, live, raw live stream. Appreciate you all being here. Um, if you're subscribed, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. It's also worth noting that uh, if you're not a, a channel member, you can join the channel membership. There's some uh, details and a link in the description down below. Um, really would appreciate anybody willing to become a channel member. It's a dollar a month and it just goes to support the channel and some of the content and things that uh, hopefully I can share with you. So yeah, Let's adjust the camera here a little bit. All right. So yeah, and then uh, also in the description, you'll have access to all of my uh, social links. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you can also follow me on Strava if you're interested to see all of my runs. And uh, I try to post on all of my Strava runs what gear or shoe I, I ended up running in, as well as what fuel I used uh, to fuel that run, uh, what gels, you know, uh, hydration, and so on. So uh, you can look for that. Okay. Um, with that, I mean, a couple minutes into this, I might as well. I'm really excited for these packages. I want to get these open. I've got two shoes from Under Armour, a company that I have not reviewed yet. So I'm really excited, really curious, intrigued as to, to what their offerings are when it comes to road shoes. I think they're trying to step up their game a little bit and, and transition more into uh, being a, a known player in the road shoe realm, but they've got some in tra trail shoes as well. So more to come there. Uh, hydration vest from Mammoth um, or Mammoth. How do you say it? I don't know. But I've got a hydration vest that I'm pretty excited about. And I've got three pairs of shoes from um, including the new Temp 5s, perhaps? We'll, we'll package and uh, find out. So, yeah, full review after 50 miles. And I will try to do um, like a members only uh, first impressions, debut run type of video for as much of the gear as I can, shoes and invest and such. So, look for that, become a member, and you'll have access to those videos as they uh, become available. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into it, shall we? Where's my scissors? Oh, right in front of me. Ooh, which one do I want to open up first? Should we go with Under Armour? If you have any questions or comments, thoughts about any of this gear, these shoes, uh, please just drop them in the in the comment. Whether you're joining live and, and uh, you want to throw it in the live feed or you're watching this video after the fact, um, uh, yeah, just throw it in the uh, comments and I'll I'll take a look at that. Okay, here we go. Under Armour. Okay, let's take a look here. Woo, very cool. Look at that. All right, let's pull these out. This is the Infinite Elite, the Under Armour Infinite Elite, um, featuring their new Hover Plus midsole. Now these shoes are designed specifically for long runs is, is what their uh, website says. Um, wow, that is 
quite the stack on these shoes. Okay, let's take a look at these. This midsole feels feels a lot like Adidas Boost material. I think it's the same type of technology, but holy cow, that is quite the stack. According to, uh, I believe it was Running Warehouse's website, three millimeter stack with an eight millimeter drop, uh, 40 millimeter in the, in the rear. Take a look. Oh, the tongue's gusseted on both sides. That should make it comfortable. You got some somewhat dense padding in there. Upper feels like it'll be pretty flexible. Nice padded reinforced uh, heel there. A little bit of a heel flare. That's kind of cool. Wow. What do you think of this shoe? <laughs> I'm not sure what to think. I think this is going to be a great long day shoe. I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, just feeling feeling that comfort. That midsole feels a lot like the Adidas Boost material. Um, not the lightest shoe, but that's okay, um, even for long runs. So I'm definitely going to be putting in a couple 20-mile runs in this shoe, and then I'll get you my full review shortly after that. So um, stay tuned. Very cool. Okay, this looks like it's going to be really nice. I'm excited. Let's open another box from Under Armour. boxes just a little bit bigger okay what do we what do we got in here Ooh, check that out wow what do you think of that yes this is a trail shoe okay this has their standard hover uh, midsole Feels like it'll be, I don't know, it's not as soft as I, as I was hoping for, but might be totally fine on the trails. You got some nice reinforced uh, webbing there on the upper. Ooh, let's, let's take a look. Pull the uh, paper out of the shoe here. Okay, got some padding around the, the collar, slightly contoured. That should, I think, be pretty nice. A nice flexible upper that's, that's like a it's like a whole sock liner. And then of course it comes up higher like a gator. Um, and Wild was talking about this shoe on their website about being more of like a trail hiker, lightweight trail hiker. And then on the Under Armour website, they were listing this specifically as a, uh, like an ultimate trail runner type of shoe. So I, I think it's gonna work out great as a trail runner. You got some really nice overlays, good toe protection. Um, I'm hoping this collar helps keep a lot of that debris out, um, rocks and such, but it'll probably be, could be nice in the snow too. Hmm, and this outsole, it's a Vibram Mega Grip outsole. I don't know what size lugs those are. Four, four and a half millimeter probably. I don't think they're bigger than five, but they're not less than four. So yeah, eight millimeter drop on this. Look at that. Eight millimeter drop as well. Ooh. Shoes somewhat stiff. Might loosen up over time, but yeah. Well, this will be pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. They do have a version of this shoe, or at least they had one on their website, but you can still find it. Um, so this was the Ridge Trek Trail Runner. Um, they also have just the normal Ridge Trail Runner, so the, the Trek having this extra um, fabric around your ankle, um, and the regular Ridge version not having this. A um, little bit lighter weight. This doesn't feel heavy. I think it was coming in at about, they said, uh, 11, 
0.75 ounces, I thought. Uh, what is that in grams? Like, oh, I don't even remember now. 9.3 grams, I think. Um, it actually feels lighter than that, but we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I love the colorway. That green with this kind of pink and the black. That's really neat. <laughs> okay. You have any questions about that? Drop them down in the comments. I'm really, really looking forward to getting some, some good miles in this shoe. Okay, full review after 50 miles. Under Armour Hover Ridge Trek Trail Runner. Let's open another box. And uh, thank you Under Armour, by the way, for sending those my way. Really appreciate it. Uh, they sent them to me for the purpose of review. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. Super thankful for that. Okay, now from uh, Mammoth. Anything else in the box? This paper? All right. Cool. Oh, very cool. Okay, let's get this open. Oh, interesting. So on the website, the color of this looked much more bright white, but in person, it's more of a, a light gray, which is really cool looking, actually. That's... Really nice, super thin vest. Yeah, this material is, looks like it's gonna be pretty durable. Um, you can see how transparent that is. <laughs> um, super thin, should be very, very breathable, or at least as breathable as a vest can be. And I'm out of focus on, on the video, sorry about that. Okay, let's take a look. What else do we got here? We got some Hydropack branded soft flasks, that's cool. Okay, and they're the longer ones, which is which is great. I, I love my Hydropack soft flasks. Um, that's great. By the way, if you want to buy any products from Hydropack, use my affiliate link down below. There's also a 10% discount code. Gives me a little kickback as well. So anything you buy from Hydropack, use that link and uh, gives me a little kickback. And again, there's a discount code for 10% off. Okay, let's let's take out the bottles and take a look at the, the rest of the vest here. Okay, what do we got? We got a pocket on the front, which, ooh, might be, I wonder. Oh, I love that, I love that. So this pocket right here on the front is deep enough for my phone. We'll see how that fits in there with a uh, soft flask in that. The material is stretchy, a lot like the diamond black, uh, excuse me, diamond black, the black diamond, Distance 8 pack or the uh, Solomon packs. Why am I out of focus? All right, come on, focus back on the camera. Sorry about that. Or I'm out of focus. How much I can do about it. You got a nice loop to cinch down the pocket here. You can uh, loop the bottle around this to uh, keep it from falling down. You got your straps on the front. It's got some stretch to it. And then what else do you have? So you've got your pocket on the front. Oh, you've got a little pocket right up front here with a whistle. As effective as a little tiny whistle can be. And then let's see here. Oh yeah, you do have another side pocket. Oh, that's nice. And this material is really stretchy. So you've got pocket on the on uh, both sides, left and right, pocket on the very front, pocket on the side. And I believe, I guess you could stick a, bladder or something in the back there and then this should unzip yeah okay looks like yeah you could put oh they've got a pocket inside of a pocket in, in there um it's not zipped but you can stick stuff in there this material is really stretchy so you have a whole nother pocket back there it is worth noting that anything you put back there is not it's not protected uh it's not waterproof which helps there's no like extra layer back there, it looks like, to protect against uh, sweat. Um, that's good and bad. Good in the sense that it, it helps it breathe a little bit better. Bad in the sense that anything you put back there may get a little wet from the condensation and um, body sweat. Okay. This is cool. This is the A Energy TR5. And I got the medium size. Hopefully, it's the right size for me. I'm really excited about this. This looks really, really cool. 
Oh yeah, and you got two little, you got two little pockets up front here. Um, not sure that you'd be able to put much in them, but yeah, they're there. I guess maybe you could put a small gel or something, but all right, cool. Let's open up another package. I will get my full review of this as soon as possible, as soon as I can. Very cool. Thank you so much, Mammut. I am looking forward to that. All right, now a box from Ultra. I'm struggling here. Of course, they stuck the packing label right on top of the seam. Gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's set this down and pull these out here. Let's start with the Torin 7. Look at that. They've got a bunch of cool colorways on their website for the Torin 7. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this blue. I'm not against it, but they've got some other colorways that I thought were a little cooler than this, but I will still take a look at that. Yeah, it's got their Ego Max midsole similar to, or the same midsole as in the Torin um, 6, which I don't have down here. Um, that looks like it's gonna be a pretty comfortable shoe. They made some updates to the tongue to make it more comfortable uh, so that it's not digging into your heel there or your ankle. Heel color feels very similar to the previous version. Upper looks like it's slightly updated. Should be a little more durable, hopefully. Um, I know on my Torrent 6s, the fabric, I think it was on the inside, started to separate right about here. A few more millimeters of stack. I think it's 29 millimeters, I believe, on this shoe. Yeah, this looks really cool. What do you think? Ultra Torrent 7, zero drop shoe. Thank you, Ultra. That's really cool. I'm looking forward to that. One thing, one problem that I had with the Torrent 6 was that the midsole felt like it went flat after about uh, 60, or excuse me, 60, um, after about 200 miles. Um, with a couple more millimeters of stack, I hope that there's just a little bit more return and uh, cushioning over the long haul, but we shall see. There you go. Awesome. All righty. Let's see what we got here. This is the Ultra Forward Experience, which is Ultra's, I believe, their first non zero drop shoe. So this one has a uh, four millimeter drop to it. Who I like that. Look at that colorway. That orange is so, so cool, so fun. Wow. I'm actually really looking forward to this shoe, more so arguably than the, uh, uh, what it was, the Torin 7 that I just, uh, just opened. Forward experience, 32 millimeter heel stack, 28 in the four foot, four millimeter drop. Very similar upper build looks like. I like the uh, cushioning around the ankle. Let's see here, non-gusseted tongue, but it feels somewhat densely padded. Look at that. Man, what do you think of that? Also features their Ego Max midsole. A little bit less rubber, feels really lightweight. I think this is gonna be a great shoe. Time will tell, full review after 50 miles. Very, very cool. I'm really looking forward to that. that. That is a sweet looking shoe. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna look fly, feel fast. What do you think? All right, and then the last item for today and the final item from Ultra, the Temp 5. Oh. Those look cool. Now I know a lot of the review videos on uh, YouTube already are showing this in their uh, blue colorway. I had asked for the lime colorway. 
And that's what they send me. Wow. Okay, this is this is cool looking. I know the uh, Temp 5 is going to be a big focus for Ultra this year. Um, I don't know if I'll get my feet in a pair of the Lone Peak 8, I believe is what it is. Um, but this had some pretty good updates that I'm really excited about, uh, specifically on the outsole. Now you have the Vibram outsole, which should be really, really nice. I love that pink outsole. That is just so fun. <laughs> Okay, the upper, ooh, that upper feels like it's really durable. I mean, time will tell. And, ah, sweet, you do get a gusseted tongue. It's interesting, they're not using a flexible fabric for that gusset. So we'll have to see how effective it actually is at holding the tongue in place. Nice, dense padding, kind of like the uh, forward experience on that uh, tongue. I love the overlays along the toe. Ooh, that's some pretty good toe protection there. Look at that. Yeah, that midsole feels really nice. We'll see how long it lasts. Again, their Ego Max midsole. Yeah, that feels pretty good. It's hard to show you how soft it kind of feels, but that should be a fun shoe. Zero drop as well. Um, I forget the stack on this. Let me see if I have that here in front of me. The stack on the Temp 5 is 29 millimeters. 29 millimeter on the uh, on on this as well as the oh 30 millimeter on the Torin 7. Okay, yeah, this is this is cool. Really, really looking forward to putting in some miles. Full review after 50 miles, of course. I will do an initial impressions video, Davy Run initial impressions of this shoe as well as the other shoes for members only. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about this other than I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ultra, for sending this. So what questions do you have about any one of these shoes that I've, I've opened uh, today or the, uh, the vest? Is there one particular one that you're looking forward to most or not so much and uh, you could care less and you want me to completely <laughs> disregard all this and, and go review something else instead? But uh, anyways, let me know. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys being here today. Um, I guess that's it. We can wrap up the video. Let me take a look at my notes here and uh, see if there's anything that I missed. Don't forget to become a member of the channel if you're not already. And if you are, thank you so much. It really helps the channel out. It helps me to uh, um, either buy gear that I would like to review or pay for races that I can also um, share my video content of. And uh, yeah. I've got some more coming. I believe Topo is gonna to be sending me the Mountain Racer 3. They also have a shoe that I think is designed to compete with the Temp 5, uh, the MT5 that they've announced. Uh, hopefully I can get my feet in a pair of those when those become more available. Skechers should also be sending me a pair of the Ride 11. They had that shoe out last year. I never got a chance to review it. So they said that they're gonna be sending me a pair of that. I also really, really enjoyed running in the Razor 4 from Skechers, and uh, they've said that they're going to go ahead and send me another pair. Um, so if you're interested in kind of like a, a revisit review video of that, let me know. Drop a comment down below. I'm also going to be getting, probably closer to March, the Ultimate Direction Exodus vest. It's that vest that um, is completely like wraps around you like a real true vest. Um, you actually cinch it up by a little zipper on the side. Um, and then you have extra pockets on the front, which is kind of a cool idea. Um, we'll see how it actually functions and works. I'm excited to uh, review that. So more to come. I'll do another live video when I uh, get some more boxes and we'll open those up and uh, yeah, take a look at that together. Appreciate you being here. I guess until then, how do we leave off these videos? Maybe you can hear me say it already. Remember to be consistent, express gratitude, and enjoy every mile. I'm looking forward to putting in some miles in all of this gear. All right, thanks for joining me. See you on the next one. Bye.